Not so live from New York, it's finally Saturday Night Live on the Kardashians. I keep on having to pee like a million times before the show starts, that's just like who I am. That means Kim is about to share her first kiss with Pete Davidson, ooh. But first, Kanye is saving the day with last week's sex tape drama. And we learned that famous people might not know about a USB drive. Let's recap the Kardashians episode three. I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Kimmy is finally ready to host Saturday Night Live, and while she can't attend her own celebratory dinner, I mean, don't worry, food god's there to listen to Chris talk about her days in New York as a flight attendant. There she was apparently sleeping like Grandpa Joe style with her roomies in a building that Chloe really doesn't want to visit for some reason, but then when we do, we don't even go inside, so whatever, I'm over that storyline. The day of SNL, Chris and Chloe get a call summoning them to Kim's room. Can we bring cameras? And hey, look, it's Kanye, wearing seven sweatshirts and the low back support thing I wear when I move furniture. He's not just here to support his ex, though. Kim says Kanye flew all the way to LA to collect the hard drive computer from Ray J that contained the unreleased footage from their sex tape, you know, the footage that's been haunting her. Now, why did Kanye bring like the whole computer mouse pad set up? Now, I'm not tech support, but I feel like a thumb drive, the cloud might be easier. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Kim says she looked at all the footage and it was nothing sexual. So 20 years later, can we finally wrap up the scandal? I mean, honestly, can we? I am so over it. And just in time for SNL. In her most relatable moment of a season, Kim said she's had to pee like a million times before the show starts, which I know resonates with people who have worn an ill-advised jumpsuit during a night out. Despite this, Kim's episode goes great. I mean, we all watched it at the time. I thought she did a really good job for someone who was not like a comedian or an actor. Okay, but the gushing from Chris Rock and Amy Schumer at the after party, like it wasn't that good. They're probably just being nice. Also, where is Pete at this after party? I know they did their smooch, I wanna see more. Back in LA, Chris and Chloe are handling all the logistics of Travis's top secret proposal to Courtney. Well, top secret, except for Ellen DeGeneres. While there's a scare that her egg retrieval procedure is gonna throw a wrench in things, it ends up not. And it looks like we're getting that proposal next week. I'm excited. Now, so far in the Kardashians, I've been like, um, Kendall and Kylie, where are you? It seems like no one wants to work anymore. But they made an appearance at the end of the episode to grab in and out and remind me why I like watching them so much. I mean, Kylie eating a snack in the drive-thru, speaking absolute gibberish, great. Kendall loves love, I love her loving love. And next week is all about love on the Kardashians and I am loving the romance. Let me know what you thought of this week's episode in the comments and like and subscribe while you're there. Then head over to popculture.com for more of the latest entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call.